Good morning and welcome back. Students are excited to get on campus after a year of uncertainty and the pandemic impacted many people's finances and put more strain on students struggling to pay for college. Local financial professional with Stonebrook Insurance Tim Kohanek is here with us to talk about what options are available to students. Tim, how many college students are feeling the financial strain of the pandemic? Yeah, it's really an alarming number. So a new survey found that about 72% of 2020 high school graduates and almost 80% of high school age uh, teens said that they would need to reconsider how they're going to go about paying for all of their higher education expenses. So how can students afford the rising cost of tuition? Yeah, it's a real challenge. Um, I always say the first thing is to plan, right? So if you're uh, starting a family or if you have a family, you know there's going to be a student that's going to need some assistance going to college. Uh, putting together a plan for paying for that, whether it's through your own retirement plan, like a Roth IRA is, is sometimes a great option. There's uh, 529 plans available, like the Nebraska Educational Savings Trust. But when those routes aren't options, then we need to look for seeking financial aid, whether that be through scholarships, which is really the best way to go, because that's money that doesn't have to be paid back. And there's thousands of scholarships available. You can go to scholarships.com and find all kinds of scholarships for obscure things, whether it's for being a vegetarian or a snowboarder. So starting with scholarships, uh, in addition to scholarships, I always recommend that every student fill out a FAFSA form, the free application for uh, federal student aid, just to see if they're, uh, if they're eligible, if they qualify for financial aid to the federal government. It's gonna be based on your family's finances, so you may or may not qualify. Um, and keep in mind that if your circumstances change after you submit that form, you can always let the university know, and there's a chance that you could become available, uh, be eligible for more financial aid than you originally would have been eligible for. And what can parents do to help? Yeah, so this is sometimes a tricky one. So I think the first thing is talking to your student or, or student to be about the situation because if the student takes on a bunch of, uh, you know, loans themselves, they got to keep in mind that those loans have to be paid back with interest. And so a lot of students are graduating college with 30, 40, 50, 60,000 or more in student loan debt. And that becomes almost like another mortgage payment. And so understanding the responsibility of taking on uh, student loan debt is really important. If the parents want to help themselves, but they're not able to help out of pocket, they can also apply for loans like Parent PLUS loans. Uh, but it's really important to understand what they're getting into as well, because the reality is I've got clients that are nearing retirement and they still have twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 worth of student loan debt uh, in parent plus loans that they're paying on, again, plus mortgages and those sorts of things that they're carrying into retirement, which just adds to their financial burden. So they've got to be careful. Uh, you know, there's been different talk of the potential of student loan forgiveness and those sorts of things that we've heard from the, the Biden administration. But nothing's really set in stone as far as that goes. So at the end of the day, you got to sit down, you know, create a budget, uh, find out you know, how much your student plans on spending in, a, uh, in any given year, looking at alternatives to college, whether that be uh, starting out at community college, looking at programs like the, the program the University of Nebraska recently came out with uh, that qualifies certain families for free tuition for undergraduate students and seeing just what makes sense for each family's you know unique financial situation. All right, Tim Kohanek, we appreciate your time today. Thank you. My pleasure. And stay with us because we'll be right back after the break.